Hey guys, Estheria here, and this is the first in the, our series about taming your UI. So basically, what you see here all revolves around one uh, combination of add-ons, and that's called LUI. So if you go to LUI's website, you can download the LUI package. It includes a number of add-ons that um, are really popular, including Omen and Recount, um, and also Bartender to get your bars to look like mine look like here. Um, and so you'll want to download that first if you want if you like the look of my UI. The first and most important thing when you first install LUI, there will be a big install button in the center of your screen. Just hit the install button. It'll reload your UI and then it'll pop up and you'll have everything on your screen that you need to use. Um, if you don't have everything, we can go over how to get those things in a later video. So the first thing that you're going to want to think about is your unit frames and these unit frames are normally in the very center of your screen when you first start so I'm going to show you how to move these into more convenient locations um, so the first thing that we're going to do is go up in this little corner there's a little cogwheel and that cogwheel if you hover over it says LUI options so we're gonna click that cogwheel and when it first comes up you're going to see that it just says LUI um, there's a number of options including colors which can be really exciting when you change your colors and the look of your whole UI um, You'll see Aura and Bags and just all, door, all different options that you can have um, in this UI uh, settings. So we'll go all the way to the bottom of this where it says Unit Frames and we'll click on Unit Frames. Now it a, has a number of options here which um, you can play with later but what we're focused on right now is moving these around. So you'll click on Move Unit Frames. When you do that you see a number of big green boxes up here and these will um, be things like your individual player uh, unit frame, your focus, your pet if you have a pet, your pet's target, um, the target that you're on uh, and the target of your target so you can see if the tank actually has aggro. You'll see the boss health over here, um, target cast bar and player cast bar, there'll be an arena box and a party box. Now what these various things do, um, the first the arena, if you're in an arena it'll show you um, uh, who you're fighting against and I like to keep that over by the boss health um, area because that's where I'm used to looking for PvE, why not look there for PvP too? Your party unit frames, this is anytime you're in a, um, a five person group, a five man group, you'll notice that you have uh, your party here and it'll show what they're, each of them are focusing. Um, just be mindful when you're playing with the party um, that you want to still be able to see your buffs up here and your debuffs which will appear slightly below it. So um, just be careful when you're moving this one around that you don't get it up too high. Um, the next thing you'll want to play with is your player. I like to move my player off to the side. Um, you'll notice that if I start moving this, there's a black line that goes along with it. Um, that black line is uh, connected to the focus, and I really don't like those black lines going all the way across my screen, so I like to keep those generally close together. Um, you'll also notice I have my pet out, Scarlet. So if I have my pet and my pet's target and she's not targeting anything because there's nothing to target. Um, there's also a target cast bar and player cast bar. I like to keep these close together so I can see if I need to move and then if I'm getting pushed back on my casts at all. Um, and then your target. So if you're on an ad, um, you can see that ad here with your boss health still up here. So once you're happy with wherever you've placed these, and really I think it's a personal choice for everybody um, on where they feel comfortable about seeing everything and how much overlap they like on things, you can just hit save. Um, if you hit save, they'll all go back to the way they were, uh, or the way you have them here. If you hit reset, it'll go back to the standard whatever the normal is for LUI. Uh, cancel, of course, cancels the move completely. So I'll just hit, uh, move this back over a little bit, and then hit save. And when I hit save, I see my uh, bar with my focus bar, that's this green bar underneath it, Scarlet with Scarlet's focus bar right underneath it, my focus target, uh, which right now is an org win rider, um, my actual target, Scarlet, which has no target, and there's no boss or anything, so I don't have to worry about those frames. So that is how you move your unit frames in LUI. Probably talk about our bars next, um, and maybe we'll throw in some talk about the colors and what these buttons do up here. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and come back. We will have um, more videos with all sorts of rating tips and uh, tips on just being a hunter and any random scattered things that I can think of. So we'll see you guys later.